Hey everybody, James here with Laughing Dragon Foundries. So today we're gonna talk about the enclosure. That's what you're in. A little toasty in there? Come on out, let's get started. So we've talked before about printing with PLA and how that pretty much accomplishes most of your printing needs. But occasionally, you're going to want to print something that's got a little bit more strength and can endure some high temperatures, maybe even be waterproof. In which case, you're going to need to print in a filament that can take that abuse. Now the downside of printing with these filaments is the fact that despite their strength, they're a little bit finicky when it comes to actually printing them. So what you're going to need in most cases is you're going to need an enclosure to keep the ambient temperature at a certain level. And the reason is, is because if there's even the slightest draft um, in a room where you're printing, that can cause layers of your print to cool prematurely and actually cause the print to warp. Uh, and warping is not a good thing. So this is printed out of ASA filament. ASA is kind of our preferred tough filament to print in around here uh, because it does have a trade-off between simplicity when it comes to printing as well as strength and durability. This is also UV resistant, water resistant. Uh, actually, I think it can even be waterproof. I haven't tested it yet, but I just, you know, obviously I've done some reading up on it. And, uh, def but it definitely can take the heat and it's very, very strong. Now, that's not to say that you can't benefit printing PLA in an enclosure as well, but some PLAs will get a little bit finicky when they get too warm. So, you know, it's kind of something you can experiment around with, with PLA, but most definitely with a ASA, ABS, uh, car carbon fibers, nylons, polycarbonates, you're going, to, you're going to want to use a heated enclosure uh, in order to, uh, to successfully print this stuff. You don't have to put a heater in there because the other part of printing with materials like this is the fact that they print anywhere from 500 degrees Fahrenheit on up. So it's going to get warm in there just, just because it's, you're printing at those high of temperatures in the first place. Some printers actually come with their own enclosure, like this Raise 3D M2 Plus back here behind me. That is a little bit more of an expensive printer because it comes with the enclosure and a number of other things that your average desktop printer does not come with. If you have one of the lower end printers in terms of price, then there are enclosure options on the market that you can buy. This particular enclosure here is actually made by Creality. This particular model is made to encapsulate the CR-10S Pro V2, uh, which is the printer that obviously we have in here. You can see I've also got an LED uh, battery-powered flashlight over here on the side just to illuminate the inside so I can see what's going on at, when it's closed because the one thing you want to do is once you get this closed and it start, starts printing, you don't want to open it up unless absolutely necessary because that, again, will disturb the ambient temperature uh, that you've built up inside the printer. This runs at about 100 bucks on Amazon. Smaller ones for smaller size printers will be a little bit less. There is an access flap over here on the side uh, that closes with Velcro. Um, there's an exhaust vent in the back here where you can run your cord through. And if you want to route like maybe a dryer hose or some kind of an exhaust hose uh, to vent fumes, because ABS can get a little smelly, um, if you want to vent those fumes out a window, that would be the place where you would hook that up, maybe put a fan in the hose itself. <clears throat> and then on the side, on the side here, we have a pocket where you can keep your printing tools or anything else that you want to keep in there. So this is pretty much a nylon enclosure. It's got a zipper, so you can zip it shut. And then, of course, it's got a little uh, window here so you can still see through it and see what's going on with your printer. Uh, it's an aluminum frame, so the nice thing about this is it's collapsible. So if you need to pick up your printer and the enclosure and move it to another location, or if you're just not using it and you want to store it away, uh, it pretty easily comes apart just by taking the, uh, taking the enclosure off of this aluminum frame and then taking the, uh, taking the frame apart itself and store it all flat in a nice little box or bag, however you want to store it. So this is an example of a printer that comes with its own built-in enclosure. As you can see, this entire printer is, has an enclosure built around it. Um, 
Of course, this is a much more expensive printer. This is the Raise 3D N2 Plus Dual, and it has a plexiglass lid here on the top, as well as fully encompassed in plexiglass with a door here in the front to access your print, and then a door on the side here to access uh, your filament when it's time to swap it out. So this printer is a little bit more pricey. Um, this, these printers clock in right now at the price tag of about five or six thousand bucks starting. And um, yeah, it comes with a lot of other things, but the thing that we're focusing on today is the fact that it does come with its own, own enclosure. There are other enclosure options out there. Uh, there's a lot of people that actually build their own enclosures. You can buy uh, acrylic panel uh, enclosures, ready-made kits. Uh, just like I said, there's a number of different options out there. Uh, but this, again, in my opinion, is a nice, quick, and easy, and pretty much inexpensive solution. Uh, the only thing that probably you want to be careful of is the, the zippers are nylon. And like anything made out of plastic or nylon over time, those zippers probably will fail. Uh, so, you know, hopefully we'll get a lot of mileage out of it before that happens. So again, the main reason for an enclosure is to keep your printer in an enclosed environment where the ambient temperature is maintained at a certain level. So you get less warping or less chance of warping on your prints when you're printing in the more exotic filaments. As always, I'm James with Laughing Dragon Foundries. Be sure to check out the links to our stores and also where you can get this enclosure uh, in our video description. And if you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to ask. We love to, uh, we love to help you out in any way that we can. Um, so keep your filament dry and your hopes high and keep on playing.